you are watching Vishli TV show and showing on our screens is a trending video of an angry Kenyan lady confronting Nairobi City Council after he gets into a car without her consent. The incident started when Kanjo approached Gloria's car after a parking offense. Mwana mna kuanga hivyo, hiyo ilikuwa kitu ya kunikalia kwa gari yangu, tunaenda na we hadi mali naenda. Na kupeleka hadi kwangu saa hii ni kupeleka kwa nyumba na hii gari utoki ndani. Mbona unaingia kwa gari yangu? Ni, ni traffic police. Na kufanyia hivyo juu. Mbona unaingia kwa gari yangu? Nataka kupaka hapo. Uwezi tani hivyo? Uwezi park venye nilikuwa nakuja hivyo? Ni ungekwambia hivyo? Hiyo ni kitu ya mtu anafaa kukwambia. Tunaenda na we mali naenda. Umbwa hii. Mnasumbua wa Kenya watu wako na stress. Mbona umeingia kwa gari yangu? Mbona umeingia kwa gari yangu? Na kuambia we ni umbwa na tunaenda na wewe hadi kwangu. Hata siendi kazi, tunaenda na wewe. According to the lady Tazola Gloria, the officer got into a car without her permission, leading to a recorded exchange between the two. After some time, the officer lowers his anger and pleads for forgiveness as the lady decided to drive him to her home as a form of punishment. Mbona umeingia kwa gari yangu? Wewe ni traffic police. Mbona umeingia kwa gari yangu? Umbwa hii. Na kupeleka hadi Ngong, Ngong Town. Tunataka kufanya na wewe trip. Mko na tabia mbaya sana. Siwezi park gari. Unashaingia kwa ingia. Tubange nini? Si nilikwambia nataka kubaki. The lady explained that she's innocent and decided to drive the officer to her home in Gong as a form of punishment as the officer is seen making a phone call to his colleague. Nilikataza uchalia singia ndani ya gari yangu. Mimi upark gari hapo. Mbona amkuwa mnasikia? Na nilikuwa nafanya the right thing. Mimi kila mtu anapaki hivyo gari. Mnaingia kwa gari yangu mnataka kuniarasi. Tunaenda na yeye mali naenda afande. Afande nini? Mnaumiza hapa wa Kenya kila siku mkitwambia. Unaingia kwa gari yangu wewe unajua bei ya gari. Sijafanya makosa yote alafu unaingia kwa gari yangu. Hakuna madam, tunaenda na wewe. Tunataka kuchukua road trip. Tunachukua road trip. Tuliko nataka kuingia kwa gari yangu nataka kukaa na wewe hadi kesho ndani ya hii gari I have nothing to lose I'm a boss Eh nimekuja nime kuangalia kazi yangu town siwezi park gari atiju niki park gari mnaingia hapa makanjo maumbwa hii Wa Kenya wako na shida mnaongezea shida zingine nyinyi ni nini nyinyi Tuliko nataka kufanya PE twende na wewe we want to do this PE Call whoever you are calling you don't even have courtesy. Huh? Eh? Mm. Road. Eh, call our tunapigia. State House Road. Tuko State House Road. You don't even have courtesy. You don't. Eh, na courtesy ya kuingianda ni ya gari yangu. What was my mistake? I was trying to park. Muna sumbwa wa Kenya. There are serious criminals in this country. Tunge banga nili kukataza kuingianda ni ya gari yangu. Paka hapa. Mtakugonga saa hii wewe You like drama? I'm giving you one. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You entered my car without my consent. And I was trying to park a car. It's not like nilikuwa nime double park. I'd paid for that parking and I was trying to park it. You wanted to to become famous? You are now famous inside of my car. We are taking a ride with you. I'm even willing to take you on a vacation tonight kuingia magari za watu bila kuitisha ruhusa County Council Nairobi you tell your council to to kuingia ma... your bosses are the ones who are sending you to collect money from people yes nothing yes you are calm because you are inside of this kana nimekufungia hapa utoki tunaenda na si ulikuwa unataka kuingia ndani ya gari yangu tuende tutembe Gloria is seen driving along the Nairobi expressway as she continues embarrassing the officer you wanted to take a road trip with me? I've even paid for this one. We are going to cruise with you on this road, Daddy Usiku. You don't have respect for Kenyans. Unaingia tu kwa gari ya mtu na mshika juu na park gari. Your bosses send you to collect money from innocent Kenyans. You don't respect me. How did you end up inside of my car without my consent? Umboa. Twende. You wanted to take rides with me? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Call your boss. Call your boss. Tell him that Gloria has taken me on a road trip. You wanted to waste my day? Let's waste it together, baby. How did you end up inside of my car? You want to rape me during the day? Without my consent? I was trying to pack my fucking car. How did you end up inside of my car? You wanted to come inside of my car? 
Whatever you are inside, let's go, baby. According to Gloria, it was not her first incident with the officer, and she has created another account after the other one was permanently deleted. Hi guys, so when I saw account yango, seen account yango TikTok channel, like because of that Kanjo incident, that's okay. But that guy entered my car forcefully, without my permission. I was trying to just park my car in town, and that was not his first time he's done that to me a lot of times so i was just tired of him i'm safe i'm okay let me tell you something sakaja talk to your people i think you are the, their master you are their boss they get orders from somewhere above i think these people at our nakwanga na targets you need to collect every every one of you needs to collect at least even two thousand or three thousand bob a day wapeleke mahali Talk to the kanjo boss aache watu ku stress watu. Some of us are just trying to 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 make ends meet. Si bi mtu simu haven't shot anybody, haven't stole from anybody. I'm just doing the right thing and I was parking my car and I jumped inside of my car and I decided, yo, you you really want to waste time with me? We are doing it, baby. Today it's your time to shine. So I did it that way so that I teach him a lesson that it's not even right to get inside of somebody's car without their permission. Okay? Ata wewe tu mtu aingenda ni agari yako without their You know, if this was happening in the United States, somebody will... Mtu ata kushoot, by the way. Because who are you? And these goons behave so badly. Ani wakona tabia mbaya. They think they can just harass anybody. They're serious criminals in Kenya. These corrupt politicians, why don't you go for them? You want to go for people when you are not using a barabara. Those people, at least, they are doing the right thing. Ninyum naiba pesa muna tuongezea mafuta muna shinda muna tuongezea cost of living kila siku, and then you want to come and and dance inside of my car. You don't know what I did to to earn that car. These stupid people, they get orders from somewhere. When I when I chukanga orders from somebody. So that they can come and harass people to collect money. It's a cartel. You think people don't know? Eh? The serious people who have serious corrupt cases. Why, why don't you go for those ones? Why must you go for someone who is looking for nine bob to just eat? In this time of, like, in this time, what to, uh, they, they are even struggling to put food on their table. And then you come and harass them like this. These kanjos, they're, they're not even well trained. They don't know how to handle people. That is not how you handle people. Huh? Kenyans, but the Kenyans are ge getting fed up of this. They need to know how to handle people. There are serious criminals around these places. Why don't you go for those people? Why must you go for people like me who is trying to park their car? You can dance with Anything you want to dance, dance na beya mafuta uko, muongezange beya mafuta kila wiki. You can go and steal our tax money and do whatever, whatever you want to do with people's lives, but you won't come and harass me inside of my car. That is my personal space, and that is my, my, my that is my car. That is not. Thank you so much for watching this video, and for more updates, kindly please subscribe.